What's up you guys, this is your homeboy Josh, and for today I'm going to be talking about the difference between regulated and unregulated brokers for United States citizens and residents for the year 2024. So without further ado, let's get into it. So my examples that I brought out for today is IG as your regulated broker and Okta, one of the most uh, famous online brokers, and they are unregulated. So now let's get in to the main point of this video so basically we will be diving into the crucial topic that's very essential for beginners in forex trading prop firm traders and u.s citizens trading cfd indices we are going to be talking about the choice between regulated and unregulated brokers which is a very significant decision that could impact your trading journey so let's break it down cfd brokers essentially act as banks, safeguarding traders, funds in segre segregated accounts. However, when it comes to trading CFDs, there's no centralized exchange. Instead, traders operate in the over-the-counter market where they're essentially trading against market makers who determine product names and prices. Now, regulations come into play to address fraudulent practices by some brokers. Regulated brokers, as the name suggests, they actually hold financial licenses from government bodies subjecting them to strict guidelines and oversight. On the other hand, unregulated brokers operate without these licenses, but that doesn't automatically make them scams. Okay, you need to take note of that. Doesn't mean the word unregulated is there, they're already a scam, so it's not, it's not like that. However, it's very crucial to note that some countries prohibit unlicensed brokers from offering retail forex trading to U.S. citizens because, again, it is, I think it's a very well-known fact that U.S. has high standards and stuff, so U.S. loves regulations and regulated stuff. So while unregulated brokers may offer enticing perks like higher leverage and access to a broader range of products, they also come with increased risk. I mean, that's a given right if there's no regulation it's automatically you know a higher um risk so with regulated brokers on the other hand they offer more security transparency and lower leverage requirements reducing the risk of over leveraging and potential losses so basically in my experience deciding between regulated and unregulated brokers can be a tough call especially when handling significant sums of money for forex trading ultimately it boils down to making informed decisions based on the information provided and assessing your risk tolerance and trading preferences so basically when it comes to regulated brokers you know you have you need to play inside the box you would you can't just um do whatever you want and they can also they can't also do whatever they want now with unregulated brokers, you have a bit more freedom and the company itself or the broker itself also has a bit more freedom. So it all boils down to your personal preferences and your personal needs because, you know, at the end of the day, you're the one who's going to use the platform and you're the one who's going to need the services, the benefits, the terms and conditions. You're, you're the one who's going to be hit with all of those. So if you're if you are to choose between regulated and unregulated, basically just align them with your personal needs and preferences, and then you're going to be good. That's all for today's video. This is your homeboy, Josh. I'm going to see you on the next one. Peace out.